we open up all six doors and windows for RVP file. In the last few videos, we focused on the layout of the walls for our two bedroom condo unit. The next logical thing to do is to lay out the doors and windows. So here, I have a file called doors and windows, and it's a completed version of the wall layout. And we are going to look at the various ways that we can add doors and windows to this layout. So let's start with the doors. And here in the architectural tab, I'm going to click on the door tool. And inside this door, we may not have the text that we have down here to choose from. We simply can go into the load family portion here to get it loaded. So we're going to click on load family. And inside here, I have prepared a library. So we will go to we will go to this folder called libraries for lesson four. And we're going to pick up the single flush .rfa file. So we click open. And once this door is loaded, we can see that there will be a variety of door sizes here. And I'm going to choose the 36 by 80 inch door. So from here, I'm going to click on these locations here. Now notice I have to move the mouse a little bit to toggle the direction of which it can go from opening outwards or opening inwards. All right. So I'm going to let it go or I'm going to let it open inwards here. And we can also change the side of which it's going to the door is going to open by simply pressing the space bar here. So we can toggle the direction of the door opening simply by doing so. So we can very quickly just place the doors in these locations first. Here, for example, and I'll just click on that. And simply this way, I'll click on it. And here, I'll click. So not to worry about the precision of the location because later on we can fine tune it with using temporary dimensions. All right, so I'll just place them in. So we can work very, very efficiently this way. And I'm going to just toggle this and let it open this side, this way. Okay, and next we will need to load other types of doors here. Namely, we're going to load three types of doors. So again, I'm going to click on door and I'm going to look for this icon here called load family. Let me repeat again, under architectural tab, click on door and click on load family here. And I'm going to look for libraries for lesson 04. And I'm going to click on buy for dash to panel and hold the control key. Look for buy for four panel and hold that control key there. And we're going to look for double glass two. These three types of door at the moment. So I'm going to click open and Revit will load these families into the project. So right now, if I were to click on the drop down list, you will find that there will be more doors loaded here. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the by 4 4 panel 72 inch by 80 inch door and I'm going to load it down here. And I'm going to look for the two panel 30 by 80 inch doors. And I'm going to look, I'm going to load it here. 
here. And here. Again, we do not need to be too precise about it. So the key requirement is to quickly just load in the location, the rough locations of the door, because we can always fine tune it later. When we're done, we're going to go ahead and work on the same for the windows as well. So I can click on architecture. This time I look for windows command and look for the types of windows here. And if it doesn't have the type that we want, we are going to load it. So we're going to go to load family. Let me just repeat it one more time. Architecture, window, and click on load family. And with this, we are going to look for casement bubble with trim. This one. And we click open. And once that is loaded, Revit will automatically select the one, the family that we have just loaded inside. And with this, we can go ahead and choose the 72 by 48 inch window. And we can begin to load it here. Here and here. Now, notice that after we have loaded in the window, it appears that it doesn't, it doesn't show up in the plan. Now, this is because if we were to just highlight over this, notice when I mouse over this area, it seems to show that there is something in there, but it is not showing up. Now, let's click on this. And we can see that this is not showing up because the seal height, the default seal height is at 1.3 meters. That means it is higher than our plan cut level at 1 meter here. So we can try to select these all together. So I'm going to hold the control key to add to my selection and change the seal height to, for example, 900. Now you can see that all the windows have appeared accordingly already. So placing doors and windows, it's a simple matter of choosing the tool and clicking on the wall where you want it to go. Remember, you have temporary dimensions to fine tune their placement locations. So if you don't have the family or type that you are looking for in your project, you simply click on the load family tool Go out to your library on the hard drive and choose the one you want. Then load it in and place it in your project.